What's up, everybody? It's Bree. I'm about to do a crazy interview at One Oak Studios with the one and only SP Blue. Check it out. <laughs> okay, so SP Blue, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Um, you actually dropped a video around the time of um, Alton Sterling's death mm -hmm. and everything like that with police brutality. Mm -hmm. What caused you to make that, aside from the homicides? Like, what um, made you say? Actually, that's like... A, that's a it's not a single that's like was an intro to my CD like which was my album called this thing called like mm -hmm. so you know I, I seen a lot of stuff that was going on from the trade around Mar Mike Brown and everything just pieced together and I just not you know I thought about it, I said well this thing called like so there but I said you know what I'm just making a song this thing called like and it came out like that mm -hmm. wrote it in about 10 minutes it just came fluently mm -hmm. and I was like dang you know I had to shoot a visual for it so, you know, my guy from Portland, J. Hype Productions, he put it together. We pieced it perfect. And I put it out and it got like a little good response. You know, you you, yeah. po you posted it. I was yeah. shocked. I was like, damn, you pretty, I got one from Bree. <laughs> no, oh, I man. definitely reposted it because it was like not a lot of people was talking about the mm -hmm. situation through music. Right. Everybody was making a post or just saying yeah, or things some people, Some people was freestyling and yeah. saying certain stuff. And yeah. I, I kind of felt like the message that I had in it, that it should have went farther than what it did. But, you know. It didn't reach a lot of people, but when people do listen to it and they hear it, mm -hmm. you know, this thing called life, you know, SP Blue, if you YouTube it, it's right there, you'll see it. So. Exactly, on my mixtapes and everything. It's on my mixtape, iTunes, Google Play, uh, they're real good on iTunes and Google mm -hmm. Play, and uh, my mixtape, so anything, just S.P. Blue and this thing called life. Man. That's, that's it on there you go. So a lot of people feel like, well, females specifically, mm -hmm. they feel like they don't get enough recognition in hip hop. Mm -hmm. So what, what female, 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 female artists, artists? Okay. female artists, they feel like they don't get enough recognition in hip hop. I just went to a cypher mm -hmm. with like a whole bunch of like female rappers and from New Jersey. Yeah. That. So that was the biggest thing. They said, I don't get enough recognition or respect. What female artists would you collab with if you had to? <clears throat> Um, what do you mean, signed or unsigned? Either or, like, Either or. yeah, independent or mainstream. <clears throat> Female artists. Oh, man, it's a lot of them. It's, it's a lot that are, that's good. Um, well, female artists, I don't know, Dee's low she right? She, she, mm -hmm. She's good, you know, her style, but I, want, I would want more lyrics, mm -hmm. lyrics-wise. Remy, Remy got lyrics, but I want like a, I don't, it, who, um, is a girl, actually is a girl in Philly, mm -hmm. is a girl in Philly named, um, what is her name, um, I seen her on the Sisterhood of Hip Hop, and I know she was from Philly, but I know she, she rap real good, well, her name, when I hate, when her name come to my head, I, you know, I oh, said, no. but yeah, her, like, she's good, um, Brianna Perry, mm -hmm. she know how to rap good, you know, she know how to rap good, that's one, I think she's from Miami or something like that, but yeah. Other than that, like, yeah, but no fame. I don't, I don't know. Nikki cool. Nikki held it. We want some new. Yeah. Young so, and that's the thing. When we were talking, they basically said, like, when a female artist comes out, like a hip hop artist, mm -hmm. they just stick to that one, like Nicki Minaj. Like, that's the one face that they'll have for female hip hop. But it kind of needs to be like how males do. Like, you have mm -hmm. a, a male artist coming out almost, you know, every yeah, day. It's kind of hard for them because a lot of them, time, they don't stick together. True. So it's like they battling each other, like to get, you know, oh, she's dope, she's dope, you know, I want to do that, so. So how do you think about um, the Young and May, the new artist Young and May that made the song, Ooh, Ooh? What, what, how the hot song go? Ooh, like. I, don't know, I'm like, I ain't never hear it, you know. Really? I, if, it ain't, if it ain't really popping in Atlanta, I ain't hear it. it ain't, oh, wow. Bad, you know, it ain't I don't know, because that song is pretty big right now. Yeah. How it go? How yeah, it they go? hate, but they broke, though. No, I never heard Oh, wow, that's no crazy. Shade on her. I ain't that, no shade on her, but I never heard it yet. I ain't heard it yet. Okay. Uh, I'll check it out, but, you know, later on, you to hear it, you know. You think so, she's dope? No, she's really good. Like, she's uh, really dope. She pretty much blew up real crazy like Designer did, like, when his song first okay. came out. So. Uh, well, that's, like, you know, we hear it. I mean, if I ain't, it got, like, a up no feel to it? Mm, like, yeah, it, it definitely yeah. has, like, a Brooklyn-type sound to it. Like, it's a girl, I don't know who sang that. It, I don't know if it made it here. It played it. Like, I'm about to catch a body. I don't know who sang yeah, that. Yeah, I think that is and, Dreezy. Okay, well, that's, that's really, now that's a, I, don't, I never heard, I only heard that one song, and that mm -hmm. one is 
doing real good. But I'm going to check that girl out that you was talking about. Definitely. So yeah. right now you reside in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you yeah. travel back and forth. Yeah, here in Philly, mm-hmm. New Jersey, New York. You know what I mean? So being in all these different areas, like coming all the way from the south, then to the north and, you know, three different states, mm-hmm. what kind of reception do you get from your music, like, with all these different areas? Well... Home, home wise, like originally I'm from Philadelphia. Um, I don't really get a good response there. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't, you know, they pay attention to who they pay attention to. And it's like, you know, I'm still like kind of new with with rapping, doing music. I've been rapping my whole life. I know how to rap my whole life. But taking it serious has been the past two years. And you know, like you got family and friends that know you. You got people. Oh, they're not going to really support it. Because it's you. Mm-hmm. They so used to be doing something else, and then they see, me, oh, this nigga rap now. Oh, I don't want to hear that shit. But then, like, it'll take for me to pop, and then they'll recognize it. But I get more of a good response from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? People that I, you know, people that buy, oh, and even all over, like, even from the My Mixtape thing, like, people tweet me that I don't know, that I never met in my life, and they'll say, oh, and then it'll say, it'll say, now I'm playing SP Blue. My, like my album or they say a uh, guy was tweeting me when are you gonna put a video out for a monster that's my favorite song and I'm like that touched me it's certain stuff I don't even throw on the gram but I see it from a day to day basis from random people that I never met before mm-hmm. and that and like, and like good responses from that I feel good from that that inspired me to keep going and keep, keep going, going and doing more until the people recognize in my in my city that I'm originally from and that's you know? really how it is mm-hmm. like I always have you gotta get it you gotta, you gotta you can't just worry about home I don't make music just for Philly people. I make music for everybody. I make music for, I try to make timeless music on like things that I'm feeling, whether it's love, whether it's, um, you know, they everybody make party music, but hurt, like you might, I, I talk about my father a lot in my music, mm-hmm. you know, my, my daughter, you know what I'm saying? Good times, bad times, how I was raised and stuff like that. But yeah, try to make timeless music, you know, that's it. Definitely, that's the goal, mm-hmm. so. Um, what inspired this thing called life really for you? Like the artwork that you had, it had mm-hmm. different words on it, freedom, pain, right. drugs, things like yeah, that. Police brutality, all yeah. that stuff. Like I said, like I went through a lot of things in life. The past, like, I, like the title, where I came up with the title. I was driving and my car broke down on uh, 75 in, in the summertime. And it was about, it was hot as hell outside. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, damn, and it, it, the car just overheated. And I got my daughter in the back. My daughter and mom, we sitting here, and I'm like, man, this thing called life, this, I can't get it. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't win. And I'm sitting there, and at that time, I'm writing music. I'm like, damn, that's going to be the title to the, uh, <laughs> that's going to be the title mm-hmm. to my CD. She's like, oh, that sounds good, but mind you, we in 90 degree weather, stuck on the highway, and that's where the title came to mind. And, you know, like I said, on that particular CD, where they can get it from, each song is talking about a current event that happened in my life. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Whether the, the first song, which is this thing called like that's talking about everything now, shine about how, me growing up with my mother, raising um, me and my two younger sisters without my father. Uh, Monster talks about how my father was murdered, and you know the things that I did, you know, growing mm-hmm. up, and then so on and so on, like different songs like that. So that's that's what I usually you know, try to. So do. every song is just like a story, pretty uh, yeah, much. Yeah, basically, basically, I say like the first, the first. Five, mm-hmm. and then I get into like I make a I got a then I got hungry like that's somewhat like party like good time because you don't want to be I don't want like down too, uh, too much yeah. down music then I try to show like versatility that I can make a uh, a down south song like a down south record and stuff like that like party records and stuff like that but mainly like feeling like you know stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what would you say is your biggest issue with the hip hop industry right now? My biggest issue. Hmm. Mm. That sounds like you got a few. I got a few. I got, I got you know, um, there's a few. My biggest issue, a lot of people don't, su- like, well, the support, you just got to go get out and get it yourself. That's, I mean, I can't, they're not going to support, but my issue is a lot of the a lot of the DJs, a lot of niggas is Hollywood, like, with that Hollywood shit, like, because they're on a certain level. That's my issue with them. They're on a certain level. They feel like they can't, they feel like they can't help the lower, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, mm-hmm. un, the unsigned people. Like, I'm a regular, like, I'll go in, I'll go in a club. For instance, I go in a club in Atlanta. And most of the clubs, some of the strip clubs, they play a couple of my songs. Mm-hmm. They play, like, a couple, like my party songs in, the, in Atlanta. Like, mostly just a couple of the strip clubs. And a new club that I'm going to, I, 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 no matter what, I don't go to clubs to party. I go to clubs to promote music. 
So when I go, I introduce myself to the DJ, and some of the DJs will be like on some shit, like they, you know, on some Hollywood shit. So I'm like, you know, I try to meet him on the politic. He's like, oh, well, you give me 300 right now, I pay to play it. And I'm like, what? Like, I'm, I'm introducing myself. That's cool. The money not really an issue, but damn, that's how you that's how you coming. The, my thing is now I gotta get my shit hot. I'm a I'm gonna force you to play. I'm gonna make you play. It. And then now when you come back to me, you gotta have that bag when you come back to me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta have it because the tables turn and they always do. That's just my my biggest thing is the is the DJs. I don't ha I don't have a problem with um I like you know that people say it's not about lyrics no more. It is. And the era that I, I grew up in, people had to rap. I don't have a problem with the, the new era mm -hmm. where they making songs like, you know, Future and Young Thug. The I beat, like that. The, the beat, beat is important. Now, the, beat is, the beat is important, but a lot of times, people not saying nothing on the beat. Mm -hmm. Niggas is cheating the beat. They humming, mm -hmm, doing all that shit. But the beat is real cool. But I might say some shit on, my, on mine, and ain't nobody paying no mind. But they like, he just hummed for like two minutes on, on the beat. I mean, I, I don't have a... It, that's an issue, but I mean, it's a it's a new crowd, it's a new generation. Mm -hmm. and it's a new it's generation. New generation. And, their like, and I don't want to sound like the old guy, cause I remember when my dad and older people like we don't want to hear that hippity hop stuff. So I can't do that to them, cause then I sound like the old people, right? True. I mean, I think it's all about just what you value. And mm -hmm. as a true hip hop lover, like I do value lyricism, but. In this day and age, people are giving a lot of shine to producers. Right. So it's like they need their credit too. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's like. And a lot of times, oh, what my biggest issue is like, yeah, you write another one. Because it's like, I'm glad you say that, producers. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, they're not going to play your song on the radio unless you paid all this money to the mm -hmm. big. If you ain't going to get a Zaytoven or a Metro Boomin joint, yeah. they, it don't matter. That's you know true. I mean? So that's, that's an issue that I have with that. That's true. That's so weird. you actually are a part of the Golden Music Group. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How did you guys all link up? Because the artists like in the group, the label mm -hmm. itself, come from everywhere. Yeah, like yeah. Portland, mm -hmm. Jersey, Philly, just different places. So how all did right. that come about? Um, it actually, you know, <laughs> uh, you asked me that. that <laughs> Golden, well, you know, actually, I started like the um, the CEO of that is um, actually my best friend. Mm -hmm. You know, Kev. Kev you can my, shout him out. Yeah, Kev's <laughs> my best friend, Kev. And it started with me, like, you know, me. it, it started with me. Golden Music Group was built around me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, I said, you know what, I'm, I went to the studio, and I made a song, went to the studio, made a song, and people liked it. Okay. And like, damn, we go back, I went back to the studio, made another song, it was good. Like, oh, no, you got a rap. So mm -hmm. like, we're going to sit down, and we're going to come up with this. So basically, Golden Music Group is an independent record label that, you know, I got some ties with, mm -hmm. and, you know, my best friends, you know, basically me and him. Okay. You know what I'm saying 50 50 me and him, but you know, I get it hot, I sign myself, and that's what we have. But now we got like you know, different artists from like you said, from Portland, a couple dudes from Philly, and stuff like that. They you know, they just got to grind, you know, you got to grind and you know, put money in. It's still up and coming though, mm -hmm. it's up and coming. We got goldenmusicgroup.com, that's where you can see all of the latest um, releases, the recent videos, and you know, like tour dates and stuff that's coming yeah. up through Golden Music Group. And just keep up with Golden it. Music Group LLC. We're going to put the LLC on there. Yeah, because it's, right it's official. It's <laughs> official. It's official. You go, You ain't got Google that. Just go to goldenmusicgroup.com. You can do that. Or you can go to spbluemusic.com. Mm -hmm. That's my personal website. Okay, so, so there we go. Um, moving forward, are there any projects that you, like, you want to just have put out there for the people and let them know that's coming up, or you just want to keep um, it on the low right now? I'm a, no, I'm not going to keep it on the low. I actually got a project. That's coming up. I'm not gonna say the title of the project <laughs> because no, like I said, this thing called life. I, I put that title out there, mm -hmm. and a couple months later, oh, you know who had an album called this thing called life? I mm -hmm. was out seeing it. So I dropped mine before his, like a month before his, but I don't want the same name as niggas, like you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying when, when it come up. So I'm not gonna say the name of that, but I actually get ready like today. We in one of those studios, so I'm gonna shoot a, I'm gonna uh, record my song. There's gonna be a new single called Top Down. Featuring the R and B singer named Gabrielle Tristan. Okay. And I'm gonna record that here at One Oak. So. Okay, so that's a little like out. snippet. No, yeah, that's a snippet that I'm exclusive. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that like you know when we done and put that out. But I'm not gonna give y'all the title. I'm gonna drop something else. But for right now, we got this thing called Life. It's out on iTunes, Google Play. You can stream it on Spotify, Title, Apple Music. I'm getting a lot of streams on that. If y'all really want the number total, combine sales. 
like, and I'm happy because I'm I'm unsigned, independent, regular dude, and total sales and streams fifty thousand. My first my first project. That's, I'm, that's, a, I'm proud that's of lit. myself. Pat on my back for, and shout out to everybody that's, that's watching. Lit. If you the numbers is there, I threw a couple of them on the gram. Yeah. They think I'm hating, but <laughs> they, they be hating, not me. I ain't hating. I, I, I support everybody. I support music all the time. So I would I would expect for people to support. I don't get the support that I that I give out, but mm -hmm. it, I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna make them respect it. Definitely, as an independent artist, that's mm -hmm. that's major anyway. That's you're so like, you're like now nah, I sit on a, on a major key joint. You get a label. Sign yourself. That's a major key. Definitely. Yeah. So moving forward, like I said, I do want to add like a new little thing in my interview. So okay. I'm, you're going to be ahead. the first go one. Ahead. Ahead. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, here we so go. So it's just, I've been having this conversation a lot lately with not even just artists, but friends and people that value hip hop in general. So mm -hmm. who is your top five, dead or alive? Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, damn. Top five, dead or alive. Mm -hmm. I, I got to give you five. You got to give me five. Damn. Because it is five. It's five. I know you could, I know you could pull out I five. Got, and this, is a, this is a conversation. I, and I knew this was going to come up whenever, whatever interview I had. Now, I'm going to give you a top five, but I'm not going to put Tupac and Biggie in it. Because they, that's going... they, pay, they pass it. Okay. They pass that. So that's fair. Top five, right? And this is me all around. Hip hop, I'm mean, like, damn, current and yeah, old. okay. Yeah. And I gotta give you an order. Mm, I'll be, I'll be lenient with you and right. say, since it's the All first right, cool. time I'm doing it, I'll be lenient. All right, Jay Z. Okay. Nas. Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop, and I say Snoop Doggy Dog because a lot of people they don't pay attention to Snoop. Snoop is really a, a major part of rap and hip hop. Snoop taught me how to cuss. My mom used to come in and I used to be rapping Snoop Dogg. Y'all gotta go back and listen to all them Snoop albums to like to, to know what was up. But I got Jay Z, Nas, Snoop. Oh my God! I'm gonna put Drake in there now because I rock with Drake. I like Drake, but it's hard. Damn, I gotta get five. Yeah, one more. Drake is that's an interesting choice. I like Drake, man. Drake make music. Drake make timeless music. Drake got so many songs that I feel certain ways when like, he talk about relationship shit that I went through. That I be feeling like, damn, I I play that when I'm in the mood. Like I get a call and they make me mad, I put that on. But I'm like, oh damn. So we got Jay Z, Nas, Snoop, Drake. Damn. I got a tie. Like, I got like a, a three way tie. Um. Damn, I can't. Uh, one more, it can't be that more. hard. It is that hard. And I'm, right, I'm gonna say the, I'm gonna say the five. Ah oh, man, I'm gonna give it to um. Damn, I want. Damn, that's crazy. It's the make or break. If you, if you. It's the make or break. Yeah, this fifth one. I'm gonna give it to Fab. Okay, that's that's fair enough. Five. But but all right, I'm gonna give it to Fab. So my top five, Jay Z. Nas, Snoop, um, Jay Z, Nas, Snoop, Drake, and Fab, but I really wanted to put Kiss, Beans, and, and Fifty in there. But okay, you but know, that you only do five. Yeah, I only could do five. So. Okay, I'll consider. And these, and these people that make songs, like you know, yeah, what I mean? like, like good, good albums, and yeah, stuff like that. good music. Yeah. Maybe next time I'll do ten. Yeah, you do ten. To be fair, cool. <laughs> cool with ten. I had a couple with ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. But um, what would you give, like advice wise? I always ask this. What would you give? to a young artist like gonna come up grinding what advice would you give them um a lot of them got talent but i would say learn the business part of it mm -hmm. that's it just just do your research and read 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 everything mm -hmm. that i you can't stress that read you could just like you 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 could have the talent in the world but read do your research youtube is your best friend and charlamagne your best friend if you listen, you gotta read and listen. Okay. You gotta, if you only if you read and listen, you good. Okay. Well, that's that's the golden keys from mm -hmm. you. That's it. So, uh, any viewers and fans that want to look you up and keep up with you, where can mm -hmm. they find you? They can find me at like you go to my website spbluemusic.com. Blue with no e. B L U S P B L U. 
at gmail dot com. What did I say? Damn cool. Uh, at, I said spbluemusic.com. And then you go on my uh, Instagram, sp underscore blue. Twitter, sp underscore blue. Snapchat, sp <laughs> underscore blue. Uh, I'm on all of that stuff, so it's up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there we go.